working on a shop update and here are all the covers for the sketchbooks and I have some pages of mixed media and watercolor paper folded here um, well, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you this little USPS truck I thought that the USPS trucks were really cute so I bought a little toy car <laughs> It actually runs. An update on the curtains, they are staying up now with four brackets and longer command strips. Welcome to my bookbinding studio. I'm working on a shop restock. I'm currently binding some sketchbooks. I'm still waiting for my writing paper to arrive. Um, I've been having some issues with the chipboard. So I've been ordering 30 ply chipboard from Blick for many years and their quality has been awesome up until this most recent order. Um, I noticed that the boards would warp right away when I would glue um, paper on it. So I'll show you what I mean. So it's pretty slight because I have already pressed it. 
Basically, it bends a little bit, and in the past it hasn't done that. So, and I do pay attention to the paper grain of the chipboard. So I'm not sure why this works, but um, when I glue on the end paper on the other side, it pretty much straightens it out. I have been making sure I've been pressing it in between all the steps. Um, so they are fairly straight. Usually I use glue stick for the end papers, glue stick and cardstock, but this time um, I, didn't, I don't have cardstock on hand yet, so I'm using wet glue and Lakta paper. And I think the wet glue definitely helps with um, put, putting more even tension on the other side of the chipboard. I'm relieved about that, but I, I might need to look for another source of chipboard in the near future. It's quite hot in the apartment right now, and it's so wild to me that I need to turn on the AC in January. I just finished watching The Great British Bake Off and I uh, loved it. It's such a wholesome food competition show and it's inspiring because I've been wanting to break out of my shell, break out of what I usually make and challenge myself to level up. Um, so I've been considering for a while now and I'm going to make, I'm going to participate in the 100 day project, which is starting on the 13th. Um, I'm going to stick to the weekdays and give myself um, breaks when I need to. Last year I did it and I created some pretty awesome things that I'm proud of, but I did go up till day 40 and then I fizzled out. I just ran out of ideas and the will to continue. So I'm open to like stopping halfway through the 100 days. Um, we'll see how far I get. Currently I have like two to three ideas. So it's a bit daunting, but I'm looking forward to it. And so my goal is to balance um, binding all these books and starting the 100 day project at the same time. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, yeah, restock my shop as soon as possible so that I have more time to dedicate to the 100 day project and to documenting it as well. Why I mentioned the, the uh, Bake Off is because um, it, it kind of gives me a framework. So, in the show, they have, um, it's split into three challenges for every week. They have their signature and then their um, technical challenge and then their showstopper. So I, I have my signature style and, um, and my like hoptic stitch is kind of what I'm known for, um, but I, I'm ready to develop something new and I think that's going to require upping my technical knowledge and practicing more. And hopefully at the end of the challenge, I'll have a couple showstoppers that I'm proud of. This video is going to be quite short because in the next video, I'm going to start documenting um, my 100 day project projects. Wish me luck.